I'm Lynn from Stardust. It's been great to see how many of you have been joining in Pom Dance and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how to make your own pom poms. Now I'm going to suggest that you use um, plastic. So I've got a selection of things here on the table. It can be something as simple as plastic bags. It could also be plastic tablecloths and I have made some previously using shower curtains. So before I get started, here are some that I made earlier. I suggest that you use two contrasting tablecloths or shower curtains and the only other things you're going to need is a ruler or a tape measure, a pair of scissors and some strong tape. These tablecloths have come in a pack of two, so I'm just going to use one of them and I'm going to leave it folded as it is. It measures 180 centimetres by um, 137. I am going to cut the squares into 30 centimetre squares, so I'm going to cut six out of the long piece and this is four thicknesses. So I should end up with 24 squares and I'm going to do this using two colours, so I'll do these followed by the stars. So I've got four thicknesses here. I'm now going to fold this in half. And then I'm going to snip like so, hand flat. don't have to be too accurate. I'm now going to fold this into three. Try and get them so they are the same size. I do have a ruler here which I could be using. I want to now trim a little bit off each side so that I've got squares. So just literally a centimetre off both edges. And what we should now have, if my maths is correct, we should have 24 squares of the silver. I'm now going to do exactly the same with our contrasting tablecloth. This is the second tablecloth in a contrasting colour and I'm now going to fold this and cut into squares. Now we've got both tablecloths cut into squares and I'm now going to assemble them to make two pom-poms. So the idea is that you alternate the colours. So here I've got the two piles, I'm now going to make the two pom-poms, silver, star, silver, star, until I've used up all the plastic. This is quite a fiddly job, um, particularly because I'm using tablecloths and they are very, very thin. And you can see the static electricity, they're tending to stick and curl up. ready now for the next stage which is to cut the individual strands for the pom-poms. It's quite useful if you have some masking tape for this 
and I'm going to tape down the centre of one of our piles of squares and then cut to the tape. So put a couple of pieces of masking tape down the centre, like so, and then you need to cut to the tape. And it's up to you how close these strips are apart. I'm going to, again, guess two, three centimetres and we'll see how we go. So right down to the tape. You could always measure these out and just put a little mark with a, a pencil. My guesswork's not brilliant because my last strip is a little bit thicker than the rest. But what I'll probably do is just trim those little bits off because it's actually not that even. So when you've done that, what you can do is to fold the other section over towards you and then snip the same distance apart, right to the tape. So now that I've done that, I'm going to do exactly the same with the second pom-pom. So with the second pom-pom, I'm going to show you a different way. doing this and getting this straight, an alternative would be to take a ruler and draw lines and that way your cuts are going to be on exactly the same level. There we go. We've now got both pom-poms cut into vertical strips and the next stage is to fold them in a concertina. So in order to do this, I'm going to take the masking tape off and then I'll show you how to fold it. Before I start to fold, it's quite useful to have some pieces of tape cut in readiness for when you have folded in a concertina that we need to put round the middle. When I made these before, that I did need a helper for this stage. So we're just going to have to wait and see if I can manage to do this on my own. So back to the folded pieces, just gently take the masking tape off, there we go. I find it easier now if I gently turn this round so that the cuts are horizontal. So I'm going to fold this in a concertina and try and keep the cuts as flat as you can. Satina. And the next thing to do is to wrap the tape around the centre. And what this does is this creates the bit that you will hold on to when you're shaking them. Put another piece round, just a little bit wider. There we have it. Taped in the centre. Now the next stage is that you working on one side at a time, you now need to separate all these strands. And the way to do that, quite easy when they're alternating colours, is to pull them apart at the top. Now I'm going to do this quite gently because this fabric or plastic is very thin and I think if I'm a bit too heavy handed with it, it will tear. 
the shower curtain was much, much stronger and I could be quite, I could do this quite tightly. So just take your time and you're just pulling the two pieces apart at the top. So, as you can see, this is the first pom-pom with all the strands pulled apart. I now have to turn it round and do exactly the same with these. I've already completed the second concertina ring of the pom-pom, so that again now is ready to have the strands pulled apart. Okay, so I've got the last couple of strands to pull apart here, and then, voila, we have the two pom-poms completed. So here we are with two sets of finished pom-poms. One here that's made from two shower curtains, and these here that are made from tablecloths, plastic tablecloths. The difference in size is due to the squares of fabric that I cut in the first place. So these large ones, these are made from squares that are 45 centimetres square. Our smaller ones, I'll just get my hand inside, these are made from 30 centimetre squares. So for somebody a bit smaller, these are ideal and they still make a lovely noise. I do hope that you've been able to follow that and that that's infused you to make your own set of poms, uh, particularly if you join the pom classes, then that would be great. If you do make some, please send us a photo. We would love to see them. Happy pom